fundamentals two. Hopefully you've completed all of the material in Guitar Fundamentals 1 and now you're here at level 2 ready to go again. If you haven't completed Guitar Fundamentals, the beginner course 1, I strongly suggest you go back and do the whole thing and then come back here to start on Guitar Fundamentals 2 because Guitar Fundamentals 1 provides a good, strong foundation and then a logical progression so that you can get from all of those skills and concepts to Guitar Fundamentals 2. Provides perfect path from absolute beginner to beginner and then after that you'll be ready to go on to all the other great stuff that Guitar Tricks has to offer. In Guitar Fundamentals 1 we talked about everything from the absolute ground up. We talked about what's a pick? What's a guitar? What's your left hand do? What's your right hand do? Then we talked about how to hold the guitar, how to tune the guitar with the tuner, all of that stuff that's really crucial that you need to know in order to get going. After that, we started to learn how to pick and play some notes. We talked about how to do some simple chords. Talked about how to play all of the notes in the open position, down in the first position on the first five frets we, we played some simple melodies and then we built on that and learned how to play full chords in time with music then after all that was said and done you had a really good strong solid foundation for moving on to this guitar fundamentals 2 so what we pick up here is we get a little bit more in depth into the theory, the concepts. In Guitar Fundamentals 1 we talked about just very basic skills. We gave you something to do with the guitar. We said, here, play these notes. So you played some notes. Then you played some chords. Now we're going to take a step back and at the beginning of Fundamentals 2 we're going to talk about the theory. We're going to talk about scales, all those scales, those do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do things. Then we're going to talk about how those scales relate to the chords so that you can put those two ideas together. Really, they are just one basic aspect of music broken into two components. It's like the same thing, a scale and a chord. They're very closely related. We're going to show you how they're related specifically and how you use the two components separately and together. After that, we'll move on to learn some basic music notation. We're going to teach you how literally to be literate in the language of music, to read music notation. Absolutely fundamental, crucial skill that you'll need in the future when playing guitar or any kind of music. Then we'll move on to playing some simple songs like the little blues thing I was doing. We'll learn a couple of variations of that. We also have a song that's in public domain, the uh, House of the Rising Sun. We'll do that a couple of different ways. We'll learn the rest of the minor chords. And after that, we'll move on to practicing scales using a metronome to properly practice scales in time with a metronome. We will finally wind up at bar chords, those big huge hairy bar chords that beginner guitar players have such a hard time with sometimes. We're going to give you a complete breakdown of introducing the concept of the bar chord, what it is, how to use it, how to play it, and give you a bunch of examples so that you can pick it up as easily as possible so that you can play bar chords as well. So remember, be patient with yourself because some of this stuff is difficult. You want to take the time to get it right because after you get done with the Guitar Fundamentals 1 and this Fundamentals 2 course, then you'll be ready to tackle any genre of music. You'll be ready for any one of the style courses or the various tutorials that Guitar Tricks and the Guitar Tricks instructors have as available in the database of lessons on the site. You'll be ready to attack just about any style that you want. You'll be ready to have fun on the guitar and that's what this is all about. So if you're patient with yourself and you take the time to get it right, then you can wind up at your ultimate goal which is having fun playing some music on the guitar.
Good luck with it. Have fun. Practice. Be patient. We'll see you in future lessons. Mm -hmm.